No, it started. Right, oh, oh flipping. Let me get my let me get my D twenty. I didn't expect it to start. Oh man. Oh Nat twenty! You can't beat that. Fourteen. I mean it, if I would have got Nat twenty it would have. But... Oh mate. And look, fourteen's right next to Nat twenty. Yeah, I know. Oh mate, get in there, son, two one. Bugger me. Mate, I'm, I'm not going to lie, well, I'm a bit right, pissed about that. Our first nat 20 on the show. It's, mate, we both got actually decent. I got a 14, which isn't first, too bad. First time we both hit double digits. We, well, this has messed up the game, one sec, Chris. One second. To be fair, audio quality will still be fine, you know. Yeah, I know. It just kind of it feels like it'll be a bit better. His big chubby fingers, can't off. The greasy as well, I've just had Chris. Oh, mate, he's just had Chris and his look is in. And then, yes. Yeah. So, this one. Oh, I'm the bard. I'm the ranger. Welcome well, back to Bad and the Ranger. Who is this? We keep forgetting to do the intro. I know. Well, because we roll the D20s and they kind of go off yeah. on a tangent. I still like that D21st, though. Yeah, I feel no, like no. it's a staple. Yeah. Oh. I don't like show now. Yeah. Third episode. Yeah. Now. Well, technically <laughs> second. Seconds. Yeah. But it's a staple. Oh. So, so this one's um, going to be um, E3. So this one's yeah. based, based on E3. So you've heard us talk about, obviously, the UK Games Expo, and you know our love for uh, role playing games. Yeah, that's but like board games, that type of thing. We also. Arguably, have liked well. No, we have like computer yeah. games a lot well, longer. I've been than... playing like. Well, yeah, since I played, I've been like three. I, I played computer games before I played. Role yeah, games. well, I've been playing like computer games since I was like two, three. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, 100 percent. Then we've, we've um, been doing. Yeah, yeah. We this is we're really starting to get into role playing games. But yeah, we we've our always main, been into we, like our main interests when I first met Tom. All we talked about was computer games. Yeah, That's like that was it. About. So. E3 um, was really good this year. Yep. Um, it was the first public one, wasn't it? Yep, so first. It was first public E3. First time it was like public to the, well, yeah. open to the public. Yeah, it's usually just like YouTubers and Yeah, news. and like uh, critics and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, So it's a pretty big deal that it was yeah. like open. But I didn't actually know that. I yeah. always thought it was yeah. open. Because yeah. I've never seen it. you and you were like, oh no, I'm pretty sure it was open. And I was like, oh no. And then Matt said, yeah. didn't he? I've never really looked into it. Mm. It's like because I've never wanted to go. Well, yeah. I've always just watched. Well, yeah, it looks like there's that many people there. Yeah, I like, always thought it was just people mm. who got tickets. I always that. thought it was like expensive to yeah. go, like a thing to go. I didn't know it was actually like closed. Yeah, no, no, no. it was but pretty cool that it's open. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, think about it. I'd hundred percent go. I'd go in America next year. If this gets big, we'll go. We'll be invited. <laughs> we'll be invited. <laughs> we'll be invited. <laughs> we want bad in the ranger yeah. there. Wait, oh, you did try. Shit, shit, shit. So we'll talk about. Um, well. You don't know much about it, do you? I haven't so. talked. I've watched a bit of E3. I did not watch the the Microsoft Xbox One stuff. So yeah, sure. You can overtake on this one. Yeah. I'll be I'll be like the viewer at home. Yeah. Yeah. So well, I'll, I'll Xbox One X was announced slash released. It wasn't announced. Sorry, it's been announced for ages. But it was called Project Scorpio. But they announced the official title of it, Xbox One X. Um. And do you want me to ask the questions? Yeah, yeah, go on, go on, right, go on yeah. then. It'll be like I am because I I don't know like much about it. Yeah, I'll I'll go with the big one. What makes it different from the other Xbox, like the Xbox One normal? So it's got six teraflops Oof. of computing power. Now I don't know if you know what six teraflops means. Neither do I. It sounds like a lot of teraflops. Though. All I know is it's kind of similar power to like a GTX ten seventy. Which, which if, is, you know, which com- if you know good. computers, like for graphics cards, that's really powerful. Yeah. Like a GTX 10, 1070 is like 380 quid. Yeah, it's a, like lot of, it's a lot of dough. It's in the 300s, I know that. Your Xbox is just a part of a computer. <laughs> well, think about like this, an Xbox One, brand new, you can get one for like 250 quid. Yeah. So this card is more this expensive. This graphics card, well not little. Yeah, uh, yeah big, it, but... this, a GTX 1070 is more expensive than an Xbox. Oh, your whole one, Xbox, yeah. Which is mental. Yeah. So ba- that's basically what it is. Obviously, not exactly, but that's what they're kind of comparing it to if you're looking at computing power. Again, I'm not talking to the mic. Um, he's like looking up while he's talking. Yeah. It doesn't matter. So, so I don't, I can't, I'm, I'm not going to lie, I don't know how much the Xbox One X has in terms of teraflops. Oh, I don't know. Well, you is. just said six teraflops. No, 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 no. Sorry, the Xbox One S. I don't know oh, what right. that is. The X. I think the name is stupid. It's very. Well, why don't, don't call it the Xbox One? Because is there a big difference between the Xbox One and the Xbox One S in in hardware? Not just because it's slimmer, but in hardware. No, not. We'll similar. just call it an Xbox One and yeah. then Xbox One S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because so the, S and X sound yeah, too yeah, similar. Yeah. So Xbox One standard is oh, like still putting the S in there, but. Well, yeah. Well, it's <laughs> it's just nowhere near as powerful as this. Like yeah. this is just so much more powerful. Um, so yeah, that's six teraflops. And if you know the PS4 Pro, I think it only has about four point two 
Um, and that is like, I mean, I don't know the percentages, but it's a lot higher when With you think 1. about 1. it. 1.8 teraflops. One, a whole 1. 1.8. I actually think that's what um, the standard Xbox, like near that. Is that what it's... Yeah, so, so it's, it's like, like that on top point. of that. Oh, right. Which is a bit rental. It might be even less than that, but like... Um, so I know the PS4 Pro was the most powerful console, but not anymore. It's been um, bished about. Oh, well, yeah. So it's got that. It's actually got a higher... Like the CPUs, um, megahertz are clocked higher than yeah, the PS4 so Pro as well. It's faster as well. It's got 12 gigs of RAM. GDR5, 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 GDDR5. I think that's all. I thought it was just DDR. Oh, is that just for computers? No. Oh, no. Yeah. Ignore me. I'm yeah. thinking of VRAM. No. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Yeah, I'm right. Oh, no. It's just no, DDR. Yeah, he's RAM. Yeah, he's right. I was just calling him. He's RAM. <laughs> he's I RAM. am the RAM. He's RAM. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's got 12 gigs of RAM um, as opposed to 8 on the PS4 Pro. It's a nice So, it's got an nice extra up. 4 gigs, which I know it doesn't sound like a lot, it's but it is a lot. It is a lot. Like, like my computer right now is 8 gigs of RAM. Yeah, and so, ba- like half my so basically what they're saying is the developers have about nine gigs to use for a game and then the other three gigs is for software, whereas yeah. PS4 Pro will only have around five, six gigs of RAM yeah. for games. Which uh, which will be mint because I'm oh, guessing yeah. the quality of games... Well, everyone knows the standard of RAM now is eight gigs. Yeah. Even pushing towards, some people argue, 16. Well, yeah, I bought one stick of eight gig just so I've got in the option. Yeah, I just yeah. plug in another eight stick now so, and I've got my 16. Which is like, you know, twelve. so that 12 gigs of RAM is like a big deal. Yeah. Um, and then you're also looking at the size of the thing is, is incredible. So it's actually the smallest Xbox ever made. So it's smaller than the Xbox Slim. Yeah. But it's more powerful, which is mental. Yeah. So it's more powerful. Technology. It's slim. Um, and they're using this, I forget what it's called, but they're using this special technology for the um, the way the fans work. Right. So it like distributes the heat out the sides instead of like, you know, the I don't know if you know the Xbox One Slim. <laughs> Has like, um, like kind of, the fans are on the top, yeah. so if you put anything on the top, you can overheat yeah. it, whereas you can just kind of put things on the top that won't overheat. And as always, it's matte, which is nice, not that horrible and glossy stuff that just scratches and fingerprints and all that rubbish. Um, which is important, because well, he has no, kids. Yeah. yeah, well, yeah, it is. Yeah, that's why I've got my Darth Vader cover yeah. on my PS4 there. Think about the parents. So, I mean, um, what else is it? Oh, also, as you know... I mean, I know this isn't a big deal for a lot of people. 4K Blu-ray player, which is mental, because Sony, I believe, has rights to a load of Blu-ray stuff, but they don't have 4K Blu-ray, but the Xbox does, which totally, it just doesn't make sense yeah. to me. I mean, I know most things are digital now, like on like online. And the only like thing that. is about 4K, when are you going to use 4K? Like, in my head, what do you mean? a lot of the normal people aren't going to use 4K. Oh, do you mean to watch a film? To do anything to play games? No, it's becoming the standard now, you know. No, but you need a 4K TV. Yeah, and most no. and, and like most TVs coming out now are 4K. They don't really make. I mean, they do make 1080Ps, but not many. No, but I'd say only. Oh yeah, I'd say seventy percent of people own a 1080p TV. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. To... Yeah, but it has how to much, how much use of the 4K are you going to get out of it? Is my question. Oh, like, I, I like if I, if I was on an Xbox One S. I don't know in my head if I would upgrade to an Xbox One X because I wouldn't be able to do the 4K. Ah, so this is where my second point comes in. Right. Um, yeah. So um, Phil Spencer, who's like one of the, like, I think, I don't know what he is. Don't quote me on it. He's like one of the directors or something. I don't is know. Is he the one who always comes out on stage? Yeah, Microsoft? he's like young. Yeah. Like, I think it looks pretty cool for like a director of whatever. He, he's Usually really gay on me, Josh. No, look, I'm just saying, like, usually look like proper dings. Yeah. No, yeah, I know what you do, mean. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You're like, mate, you 100% shouldn't be telling me what I should be doing. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's you. you sort yourself yeah. right out. Get them cocks off. I feel like he comes out, and you can just tell that he's just a gamer at heart. Like, yeah. he's he's not one of these people who's just... Because yeah, I feel like some people who come out are just like, as long as it makes me money, I couldn't yeah. give a crap. Yeah, they're a businessman that Whereas comes out. Whereas he comes out, and he says a lot of... Clever, st- that's it. That's an awful thing to say. He says a lot of things where I'm like, you actually care about games. Like you, you play games. I can tell. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? By the way, the phrases he uses, you're like, you're not just a number cruncher. Yeah. Like trying to get the most money out of people you possibly can. So, what he's came out and said is 
Um, and I think Digital Foundry do loads of good videos. I don't know if you know them. They do loads of good videos on the like Xbox One X and all that. They're good. Um, so basically, he came out and said, even if you have a 1080p TV, it will look significantly better on an Xbox One X as opposed to a standard Xbox right. because they use um, like special technology. I forget what it's called. This is the problem with all Wait, this. Is, this is the only term you need to know, special technology. Yeah, you st- do that like two or three times now. Yeah, I know, because I'm, I'm, I'm not good at remembering job. titles. Uh, all job. I know is, if you watch, mate, if you watch the videos... So what, are the, what are the specs of my PC? Well, I've got some special technology in there. Yeah, yeah no. Some stuff. So they use this technology, basically, which enhances the 1080p so it looks crisper yeah. than a standard 1080p yeah. would... Doesn't basically so he, he's coming out and saying don't worry even if you've got a 1080p tv It'll you'll see the benefits yeah and you've also got to think the games will look better and because of the they high could quality. bring out games that'll play 60 fps on an xbox one x but only 30, 30 yeah which yeah like well, well then of course it's actually on the better, 60. Well, exactly um, especially now since i've moved to pc i can't yeah. go back to 30 i've, yeah. I've no yeah, it's does horrible. it is it change your horrible. mindset? I didn't think I'd become an elite because but... I've been trying to get like a PC for ages. Like, I am getting a laptop this year. Like, like it has to be a game laptop. I don't have room for a PC, unfortunately. All these power games are gonna be like, should get a PC. Should build so much. Shit. I can't, mate. <laughs> I've got no room, so I'm, I'm getting a laptop. A good one though, like a genuinely good one. Like at least gonna be like a, a t- minimum 1060 in it. Um, I so. You what? I right, big fella. That's <laughs> what his dad's called. Big, big fella. Big fella. Big bra, if you listen to it. <laughs> Very much doubt it, but I right, big fella. You never know. Might be interesting, these kind of things. Just, you know, we see. Well, we're getting him also. a play D&D, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, well, we'll another, talk, yeah, yeah we'll, about say, we'll talk about it. So, we'll, we'll talk about it after it does, so we can talk about the experience yeah, that of Bri like, playing yeah, D&D. Yeah, definitely. So, basically... Um, that's in a shell the Xbox One X. Now it does it does in my opinion have some faults which have already been brought to surface by numerous people. Which is a bit annoying. Um because I, I no, but what are been, the faults? Well I'm just about oh, to say right. now, like they've been pushing this 4K, 4K, 4K like yeah. it's true 4K. 4K, 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 4K Whereas 4K. PS4 Pro was 4K in like some fake, games. Yeah. No, it was like a fake one, yeah, wasn't it? Like no, the, they did 4K in some games. They did actually have I some, thought it was like where they was, rendered it up or something like that. Using checkerboard rendering. Oh, right. Whereas, mate, I knew one of the terms there. No, it's just special technology. Yeah, special th- they use checkerboard rendering where it It, it scales looked, it up, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. So it, it genuinely looks mint. Like me and you, Satya, would be able to tell. But some expert with a screen next to him would be able to tell the difference. So they, they say it's 4K. It's not actually 4K. It's just upscaled to 4K. Whereas um, Microsoft were pushing, it's true 4K. All the games are going to be 4K. Which I'm not going to let you know. They brought up, like, you know, f- the new Fours are coming out. That is 4K 60 FPS, which is really... I actually imp- saw game. Did, did the show yeah, game play? Yeah, it's it really looks, impressive. Um, like, like to get 60 FPS and 4K... Like, I'd, that, you'd need to spend a lot like, on a computer. So, basically, another good thing I thought about the uh, Xbox One X is $500, about, well, which is 450 quid. Do you know what I might do at this point? Thing. I've actually just had a really good idea. What? Do you know why you're talking about stuff? Hmm. I might have another, like, column, pros, cons... And every time we talk about pro, put it in the column. Every time we talk about con, put it in the column. That's a good idea. On the screen, so it kind of lists them. You should have just. I'm just thinking about stuff I can edit because yeah. I'm the one doing all this crap. He just he just sits and talks. He could have told me that after the podcast. <laughs> uh, well, I would have forgot. He wanted, to, he wanted to interrupt. Well, write it in the notes, bro. You keep talking. I'll write it in the notes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, but the, so the price of four hundred ninety nine dollars and about four hundred fifty quid, four hundred forty nine pound, um, is. I think it's really reasonable. I don't know why. There's a lot of uproar on the internet about it. And people are saying, oh, it's overpriced. I wish it was. what you're getting, in my head... Like, you don't understand like, I'm not like, the best how with much... the specs, but I know by my computer yeah. that it's better than my computer. And it costs the same. And it costs the same. Well, it's just, for me, I just think, like, and, and Phil Spencer, I, I think it was Phil Spencer, openly came out and said, we're actually losing money on making these, which I sounds... I don't have much, I believe, but, on that. No, 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 no. It does make sense because... The whole point behind that, because you think, a business, why would you make someone lose money? But they make it back on, on Xbox Live DLC and games and, and DLC games. and yeah, stuff like that. exclusive games. So it looks on the forefront like really bad business move, but it's actually not. It's really clever. Basically, it's making it affordable price for people to actually buy it. Because if they priced it, how much it cost? It'd be like 700 quid. 100%. Yeah. Like, no way could they actually make... Think about the... Like, and think about all that technology in the size of that thing. Yeah. I like, think it's about the size of your PC. 
No, oh, yeah. And and it's the smallest Xbox ever, but it's also ridiculously powerful when you think about it. It's yeah. a bit insane, isn't it? You no, could yeah. never build a PC that powerful in a box that big. No. Well, no, you could technically. Not, not as efficient, is it? Not as no, well but made. But if they've done it, you could do it, but I think it'd cost you more. Oh, 100% mate. And like, also, you'd have to have the knowledge. What would cost to do you it. so much is to find the parts actually fit yeah. all in that. Well, more, like having knowledge to do it, because we built my PC, yeah. and it took us about seven hours. Yeah, no, exactly. And it didn't even work at the end. Mate, it's 15 minutes in all we've talked about is Xbox. I know. Right, we're going to have to. We could just do the full of this one about Xbox. Or do you want to move on? Yeah, I feel like we need to carry on about Xbox yeah. because we're halfway through and we've got so much more to talk about. Do you just want to keep talking about the Xbox? Yeah. You know what? This ain't called E3. We'll call it Xbox One Discussion. Yeah, Xbox One X Discussion. Oh, we've got to get the X in there. Yeah, oh. yeah. Clickbait. Because, because, like, me and Tom originally were Xbox. Well, no, you had a PS3 at first, didn't I, you? Well, yeah, I was a, I was a PS3. I was always an Xbox gamer, always. And then, well, no, I had a PS2, but that's like we, the, that's way back. So. I, but I, say, I had a PS1 to start with. I had an N64. Oh, well, you're older than me, so of course you did. I, N64. When, when I was when I was young. PS PS1 only came out a year or so after. The yeah, and N64. you're like three years older than me. So when I was born, yes, the PlayStation One was like PlayStation my console. PlayStation One was a lot more expensive. And then on the PlayStation Two, then a PS3. And actually, no, I got an Xbox, Xbox original. Instead of a PS2? No, I got a PS2 and then an Xbox original because our dad wanted the Xbox PS2 original. PS2 was just so much fun. Oh, yeah. The Xbox. But our dad wanted the Xbox original to play the new Crash game that was on it because it was only out for the Xbox original. Oh, yeah. And we, our family, we had like Crash Night. So all we played was Crash Bandicoot. And like if you died, you passed over the controller. So we bought the Xbox just to buy that new Crash. Well, there you go. There you go. Anyway. Sorry of Tom's life. Right, so. Sorry of my life. I was right, just well, going to start saying, story of my life. What's that song? No, I, was thinking, I was thinging it's like One young. Direction. <laughs> I, know, I, know, I was singing that like, it's story of my life. <laughs> so anyway, um, so the price point, I, 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 when I saw the price point, I was like, Mint, I can afford this. Yeah. Like genuinely, it's like, more I was, worried, than a normal I was console. worried it was going to be like 700 quid because of how powerful it Looking is. Looking at the specs. I thought, not a chance is it going to be like, in the, in like, I'm not the only one who thought that. Like some people online, um, they were saying it's gonna. I read some people online before it was announced, like when it was a Scorpio. Scorpio saying oh, it's gonna be like seven hundred quid. Yeah, I, I I saw tons of like uh, not articles. What are they called? Like on web. Yeah, things. I saw some. I don't know if like, it's where they were saying like or or saying, or like, saying like to think it's gonna be less than this is stupid. Yeah. Oh, so I, like I, that I saw was... tons saying it's gonna be about six hundred and fifty, seven hundred, something yeah, like that. Yeah. So when it comes out. It's, $500, which is 450 quid. That's what I swear the um, PS3 came out of that price when it came out. It was. No, no. Uh, and think. PS4 anyway, did. Yeah, and think. Because I was my No, I it. swear the PS3 was as well, because I remember thinking. Because I'll be completely honest with you. I asked for a PS3 when they came out, but my mum and dad got me an Xbox One, uh, uh, Xbox 360. Xbox. I was about to say, what sorry, you about? Elite. So I had an original Xbox. Yeah. I had about five Xboxes, but I got an Elite. Because my dad, bless him, you know, when you're a kid, you don't, like, realise money. But I was like, oh, I want a PS3, I want a PS3. But it was so expensive. My dad was like, I can't. And then I remember walking through a shop and he was like, oh, what's that, son? And I was like, oh, it's like the new Elite. It's like the best Xbox 360 you can get. Because I remember the of standard Xbox 360 only had a 20 gig hard drive, yeah. right? Oh. Then the premium, it was mate, called like only premium. 20 gig, mate, like, I if know. you think about it, no. I've got games on my computer now that are like 60 gig. Well, yeah, the Plus. premium was 60 quid and the Elite was a big deal, right? Because it got rid rid of the three red rings of death and it got rid of... Um, mate, I, I, my, my Xbox started that. I know. Do you know what I had to do with it? I had one of the Xbox, do you know the ring of death? Yeah, and yeah, to, yeah. to make it work, because I, I was not getting a new Xbox... I was like, I will make this way. I put cotton buds in the back. Do you know where the fans are? Put them in the back to stop the fans from working. So the Xbox overheated. But because it overheated, it forgot that it had a red ring of death. So when it cooled down, you could turn it on and it was fine. But then if it turned off, I had to do that all over again and stop the fans. Like I tricked it into thinking it was overheating. <laughs> That's mean. I had to trick it into thinking it was overheating instead of that, like dead. And it worked fine. But like if I turned it off, I had to put cotton buds uh, in the back well, I, had a, I had a pack of cotton well, buds well it was known that they got rid of that problem which was a big problem on Xboxes so they, they got rid of that 
and so and that one had a hundred and twenty gig hard drive, which, which was, back yeah, then mate, that was mass storage. How, how are you going to fill up hundred and twenty? And it was black on my Xbox. Mate, we've been with. <laughs> yeah. No, I just thought it was cool because it was like all stealthy looking. <laughs> well, the, all the rest of them were all white, so it was boring. <laughs> it was something different. Oh, it's the same colour as my skin. Nah, it just looked a bit elitist. I like this. It. But um, no, yeah, I, I had. I remember when the PS3 came out, and like it was so much more expensive than even the yeah. Elite. I mean, do you remember how my fat dad, the like, PS3 was as well? With oh, that big mass arching, like oh my thing, days. It, it looks so dated now when you look at it. Yeah. the 360 doesn't even look that no, dated. The 360 looks alright. The PS3 looks like just a brick of shit on your table. Honestly, it really did. It is awful. It is so. Dated. I think with the PS4, the improved. Like I think the PS4 looks slick. Yeah. The Pro doesn't... I don't like that. It looks like a sandwich. I haven't really... I saw the Pro, you but stack, yeah. Yeah, where stacked, stacked, where yeah. it's like another stack on yeah, top. Yeah, no. It's no, but horrible. I think the original over there looks pretty good. Yeah. I think it looks slick. Yeah, it does. It does. I, I agree. It, it. I like the Xbox One S's design and Not, the X. I didn't like the Xbox One, though. No, was, the Xbox One It was, like, was, massive. It was, like, a video player. Like, yeah, it was, like, it was huge. a VHS or something. Yeah, yeah. it was huge. For you... Um, for all you like Americans out there, it was like a VCR or whatever you call them. Well, don't they call it a VHS as well? No, the VHS wasn't over there. I don't think it was. Just... Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, I don't think it was. I genuinely think it was like a British thing. No, it no. used to come on the, on the beginning of all your videos. Yeah, no, but I'm saying I think the box that it went in was called a VCR, but the actual That's thing. That's what I'm that... on about. Yeah, but yeah, and I'm... but I think that was the same over here. But the actual thing that goes into it is the VHS. I think. Yeah, because probably, do you know the only reason right. I know that is because there's a, a YouTube video with these little clear people that me and my sisters used to watch all the time because it made us cry, and on one of them, a little clear person gets stood in the inside of a VCR, <laughs> right, and he's like dangling out the, do you know where you put the the tape in yeah, or yeah. whatever? He's dangling out there. He's going, I'm stuck in the VCR, man. <laughs> Proper American, but it used like when I was like five, I was crying over that. That was like the best thing I've ever watched. How has this even turned into that? We're talking I don't about know. Boxes. But I just the VCR. Yeah. So like, yeah, I didn't like the look of that. But back to actually the Xbox One mm. X. The only da- I say the only one of the downsides to it though is actually that it is came out that they actually are using checkerboard rendering for some of the games and it's even some of the ones out now so Assassin's Creed Origins yeah. checkerboard rendering 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 yeah. rendering and the uh, that Anthem game that's like everyone's buzzing off um, that's checkerboard rendering as well I think which is so disappointing because you just think like why? And part of me thinks like no, because like you, you no, have but the your four K, four K, no. But you wouldn't go around boasting about four K when you're yeah. like. No, but that's like an advertisement thing, isn't it? Because it is on some games. No, 4K, but it was that... annoying because there were. No, it's annoying some... as a consumer. Yeah, no, but all I'm saying it was annoying because they were like, because at PS4 Pro you were like, oh, like we're so close to four K, we're finally gonna get it with the Xbox One X. But, but like, no, it's kind of like the same as a PS4 Pro. It's kind no, of. Do you know what? Better, think, do you know what I actually think's happened? I think the PS4 Pro will genuinely, and I'm not saying this, and the PS4 and the original Xbox, because it's not a generational leap. It's, no, it's, it's like a, a, it's like it's, a, it's, it's the like generation. Is it and, going generation eight or nine now? Oh, bloody don't. overall, oh, I don't know. Well, some at point I five. I'd anyway, say. it's still called Xbox One. Yeah, X. it's the same it's generation. Like I'd Xbox say like, X. I'd say it's like point five. Yeah, which so I'm I'm annoyed because I just think you know what. They need to bring out games that will work on both systems. Yeah. And that can't happen. Because yeah. you're just going to... You're basically... Like you're, limiting, develop- you're limiting what the X can do. Yeah. Because you're not optimising for that because you haven't optimised for the freaking crappy Xbox One. Yeah. In yeah. the corner. Do you know what I mean? They're not because gonna- it's the same generation. They're going to have to bring it out for both of them. Yeah. Exactly. So, rather, one of them is going to be so... It's going to get to the point where a developer's going to come around and say, look, mate, we can't de- develop for the Xbox One. It's that bad. Yeah. Yeah, like it's that day, and it, it might turn into kind of like and a generation. I get, I get PC gamers because a lot of them turn around and say consoles hold the PC PC games back, which they do. But what you got to remember is that the majority of people who play games still play them on a console. Yeah, like majority of people still own. Like consoles. I've got a PC, but when I get some money, I might get a console because it's just it's more, it's more sociable. It's more laid back, I'd say. Yeah, like, I say sociable. That's wrong. I say PC gaming like... is more hardcore. Like League of Legends, I'm not going to play League of Legends on a console. What you like for a console is mate comes round, 
Yeah. Do you want just, to play COD yeah. together? Do you want well, to play FIFA? Well, you can't share a keyboard, really. Unless you had a spare keyboard well, and mouse. Yeah. <laughs> and well, a massive put, desk. And a massive TV. Yeah. Because, like, you can't share a, like, 24-inch screen or whatever. Yeah. Like, you know, I just... And I just it's more local co-op. Yeah. And it's just, like... For me, for me, I feel like... I like my story player experiences on a big TV sat back with a controller. That's I'm what so I like. glad I, I've still got that PS4 controller. So, I, like, mm. when I'm playing Dark Souls and stuff like that, I do use a controller. Because and certain games are just you, you, you have to use a controller. Um, and I'm so glad I've still got one. And I don't know why, but games like Dark Souls, I prefer them on, like, a big TV just sat back just with my controller. Just back, chilling. Rather than, like, hooked on the... And, and if, there's certain games where I totally... I get... Battlefield One, no, CS:GO, League, League of Legends, Legends bro. Get, well, League I, of Legends. Well, I get, I get, I get, I get that because I'm. Well, you know me. Like, yeah. I'm all about competitive games, yeah. but I also understand the yeah. laid back games. So, yeah, going back to the like holding it back. So that just annoys me that checkerboard rendering thing because I'm just thinking, you know what? It's it's a hundred pound more, and. <sighs> It's it's meant to be this four K four K four K, and we're already getting games that aren't even out yet. Yeah. That are coming out. That are not that even four K. And this game, this console's meant to last us years. Yeah. And I just think if the games now, some games now can't handle it. Like this console needs to last another four or five like, years before I the next like generation. What, um, Rich from um, USA Tech Review or whatever it's called, Review Tech USA. Um, he said, and I totally agree with this, and I've heard other people say it, but I've watched some of his videos. Um, he said the amount of sales you would get if you turned around and said you give people an option of 4K 30 FPS yeah. or 1080p 60 I'd go 1080p 60 I'd go 1080p like that, any day of the week that smoothness is so big when just you're giving people that option yeah do you know what I mean like oh I sort of get 30 FPS on The Witcher 3 yeah like uh, it's a slow paced game <laughs> You can get away with it. Sorry, I'm not speaking, mate. <laughs> we'll just we keep both it like fucking that. Dive, I know. It? My microphone! Well, it's a slow paced game. You know, like. It's you can... so detailed that it kind of needs to be limited a bit on the console because the hardware's just not there. Yeah, well, yeah, mate, on the PS4. And that the hardware. Up to like but, 22 frames per second. But I think things. games like COD need to be 60 FPS because yeah. and fast paced games. Well, COD is on console. Yeah, which I'm is, saying fast yeah. paced games need to be 60. Oh, yeah. If yeah. it's fast paced, like very reaction based games. 60 FPS needs to be a standard. And I watched a video. I don't know who the YouTube was, but it was a very good video. And he had image. Basically, what he said is, set your phone, if you're watching it on your phone, or set your computer or whatever, to the 1080p 60 setting. And watch this. Sorry. I thought we got something in my throat. What are you doing, mate? <laughs> you just, <laughs> I, I just watched you. You started talking and just went, <laughs> Like, what is going on, mate? Well, he, he told you to set it to that. And then he showed you a video... Of 30 fps he was playing i think he was playing dirt rally or something showed a video of 30 fps and then a video of 60 really quick next to yeah. each other going in and out with them both and he was right it genuinely looked better on the 60 well, not actually, like it looked better visually you know what i could tell um when i first got my uh computer yeah i still had my ps4 and i had skyrim legendary edition on my oh, ps4 yeah. which it was still 30 fps but i bought because it was like two pound or something skyrim on the pc I bought that as well because I was on PC. I was like, right, it'll be 60 FPS. I want to see the difference. I've Mind never... Yeah. Like, I had, it, it looked the same visually, but because of the smoothness, it's just such a better gameplay experience. Where I was like, if I could never go back... I ended up selling that Skyrim because I was like, I could never go back to it. Yeah. Because of the 30 FPS, I couldn't go back to it. It felt so yeah. juttery and so... Just not smooth. Like, that's yeah. the only way to describe it. Yeah. Not smooth. So, I think I'll round it up, like, with the kind of Xbox One X. So, my, what I'm going to do is, this is my plan. Um, it comes out in, no, I think it comes out, like, November 7th. Or, maybe no, maybe a bit later. November summer. They normally come out in November. Yeah, they are. It is coming out in November. I just can't remember the exact date. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get one. Like, I am going to get one. Um, because, for me, it, it makes sense. Because I've got a laptop. And where, because we're having the TV above there, you see, you see above the, we're having a big TV well, up there. Look, because they know, um, they know no, what well, you're talking about. No, well, basically, I have a mantelpiece, um, and I'm getting a big like, TV. Like, right now, you have quite I, a I've small got, TV I've got in a small, it's like 26 inches tiny, in my living room, and it's in the corner, but we're getting rid of the big mirror for the mantelpiece, and we're going to get, like, a 50-inch TV up there. Oh, whoa. Um, team money. <laughs> team money. Oh, I don't. Um... Four, like yeah, 50 inch 4K TV up there, 
And so, because Beth would never in a million years let me hook my laptop up to the TV. <laughs> that just because all you people say, just hook your laptop up, just hook your laptop up, like or or use Steam Link. And you, you don't no, know my you don't, sister. You, like it's not in a million years. So what I do, what my plan is, I'll have a laptop for my hardcore gaming, yeah. like you know my shooters and stuff like that. CSGO, a, we can play yeah. a lot of CSGO. Well, I'll have my my like powerful laptop for that. But I also have a powerful console when I want to play single player chill back just, games. Yeah, when you can and sit back, play because story. of that Microsoft um, share yeah. play thing, I can share them. That's my that's my plan. Yeah. Share them between the two, and then they have the best of both worlds. Yeah, that's that's my idea. Because then I won't well, really be losing out. I was. It depends because right now I'm at college, and it comes with a terabyte hard drive. Yeah, I think and it's a faster one. Yeah, well, there you. There's another pro. Who's <laughs> yeah. right now? I'm at college, but I'm looking for an apprenticeship. So in my head, if I get the apprenticeship. I'll have the spare money to where I will get a console because I do like it's a just console. handy. Yeah. It's, just, it's not. I'm not. I'm not console, 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 and I'm not PC, PC, PC. I'm, I'm, going, a, I'm a, I'm a and say I'm going around my dad's and I just want to play a game with him. I'm not going to take a PC round there, am I? No. But if you could take a console, a few wires. See done. for me, I'd take my laptop. All right, mate. Sorry that you have a laptop. Well, you don't even have a laptop, mate. I'm going to get one. You've been talking about getting one. No, but now I'm like... For so long. No, but now we're like settled in finance and stuff like that. I genuinely am. But you have been... T- no joke. I've known you for about five, six... Maybe even longer than that. Six years, seven years? No, six years. No. Six years? Since... For about five years of it, you've been saying, I'm getting a PC, I'm getting yeah, a PC. Yeah, yeah, but I'm I wasn't secure financially. But now I am. I am. I'm going to get one. Because I've been going on about that long. I have to. Yeah. I if you don't, if you don't now, it's like basically who are between you? September who and are October. You? <laughs> yes, Star Wars quote. Um, between September and October, I'm, I'm, get, I'm like genuinely getting one. Like, it's confirmed. I'm definitely getting one. Well, yeah, you need to. Yeah. But we'll end this anyway. We'll end this there. So that was We've our talked, Xbox One X run. Kind of, it was quite random at some point as well. Yeah. But it was. I think we all came back. To no, the I, I got the main point yeah. out. You know, I felt like. You know, it's it's good pricing, the technology and it's good, um, the size of it's brilliant, I think. And the only negative, in my opinion, is the whole checkerboard yeah. rendering thing. But you know what, when it co- it's not even out yet, so it's hard to really judge someone when it's not actually out. Yeah. They can I've, change things in a few months. Yeah. Like it's, so we'll just see how it goes, but yeah. we'll end that one there. We're I've kind of been like a passenger in this one, because I don't know much about the Xbox oh, One. I've sorry, been, mate. I've you've been, just been talking. I've been, been listening. Been bit, We've bit, been playing bit. our rules. The bard, he talks. I'm the, rain, I'm the silent one in the corner. Silent but deadly. I'm edgy. Oh my god, mate. <laughs> end, 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 end it now. Oh, oh no. You sh- yeah. I was about to say. Yeah. We need the shameless plug. Yeah, but well, is this podcast without a no. shameless plug at well, the end? Well, yeah. Pascal plays. So this is Tom's channel, um, The Rangers. So he does all sorts. You know, he does Let's Plays. He does Minecraft. Um, he also does like, you know, League of Legends. League of Legends. He Dark does, Souls. Well, do, Dark Souls, and you've done a bit of H1Z. One H1Z now, yeah. stuff, yeah. Just kind of a bit of everything, Play really. Also, lately, you've been on that lol grind, I can't you? stop playing it. You can't I can't stop, stop playing, playing it. You can't stop playing League of Legends. It's took over my life. You, you if, if, if you've never played League of Legends, I'd say don't play it. Because it's so addicting. I hope if you want to ruin it, Aiden, Aiden, you know who you are. I hope you're not listening because he'll be slitting you. Play Dota two. If you ruin if, Dota two, if you want to ruin your life, start playing League of Legends. It takes over. I swear down. But That's anyway, why, when I get my laptop, you're de- I'm getting yeah, you. I'm at least getting it. you one game of League. I can't because I don't have the time. No, but one game. No, because at the start of League, I hated it for the first like ten hours of game. I hated League. And then something switched. Do you know when you finally realise what you're kind of doing? Yeah, it's at any game, that. And then it? I started getting better, and I couldn't stop. I'm now on, like, 200 hours of it. Yeah. Right, we'll leave right, it there, because yeah. we're, like, 30, 33 minutes. Well, nearly 30 yeah, minutes. it was a good timing. So, we'll so close next it there. episode, we'll talk, actually, about E3. Yeah, genuinely. So, we had a couple noted that we meant, so we'll talk about Battlefront 2, the new Dragon Ball yeah. uh, Fighter Z game. Destiny 2. Cod. And then just overall... They're like the main games we're, we're going to talk we're about. We're going to talk about games. This might like annoy people. We're just going to talk about games we're interested in. Because yeah. I don't There's understand no podcasts talking. where you're talking about games and I'm like, well, I don't I'm not care going to about talk about every game that's out if I don't care about it. Because yeah. it will come across like we're reading from a piece of paper saying, oh, have you seen the new this game? Yeah. It looks great. Yeah, Did you no. see we're talking about games that we actually we have played, we've played the like predecessors, uh, and we're excited about. Yeah, yeah. It oh, kind of, gonna, I think it makes probably a better gonna podcast. Get kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So we've you'll, got, you'll be able to tell in We've got a few main games that we're going to talk about, and then a few general ones yeah. that we're yeah. kind of interested yeah. in, but it, 
just yeah. kind of looks yeah. quite cool. Well, we'll talk we'll talk about it in the next one. Yeah. So, so it wasn't E3, like it started at the intro kind of well, thing. Yeah, but we well, it's, it's just okay. Xbox. Well, but in the title, just be called Xbox One yeah. discussion, yeah. Xbox oh. One X discussion. There yeah, definitely. Right, we'll see you in the next one. That weird clicky thing. I, I don't know. know. I'm